Hi everyone. So today we're going to do this cute little sublimation project that I did and I just want to do different types of art so that you know you don't always need a Cricut to create great artwork. So I'm going to show you how to do this without having to use Design Space or Cricut. Here we go. So the first thing I do is I go to canva.com. This is usually where I do all of my graphics and things. I don't own Adobe Illustrator. I do stuff either in Cricut Design Space, Ink, Inkscape, or Canva, but I love Canva. I have the pro version. There is a free version that you can use as well. Um, so for this one, we're going to create a design and it allows you to create a custom size. So we click on that and then you'll go to bottom to the bottom. You'll see where it says custom size and we're going to create the custom size of the Canva that I showed you, which was eight by eight. Oh. And then make sure this is on inches if that's what you're going to use. Once you do that, you go and just create design. So what this does now is create a canvas, a blank canvas for you in the size of what you want it. So you see up here it's untitled and it's eight by eight. First thing I encourage you to do is give it a title. Um, and this is going to be elephant. You are stronger. I'm going to leave it like that. First thing I want is a background. You go here to the left under elements. An element is where you find um, little highlights or things to add and, and cute things. So, so like there'll be like cute little arrows, could be some animation depending on what you use it on. If you want to use different shapes and things like that. And some things are free, some things are for the pro version. So we want a background and I want a pink watercolor under elements. Then it's going to give me a bunch of options. Right here just give me a ton of things and the one that I used is here it's not this is under pro and you'll know this is for the paid subscriber but if you click on some of these and I'm gonna actually if we go up here and we just filter by free and apply the filter all of these are free options that you can use all of this is free you'll see the little it'll either show you free or paid but you can always filter so that you see the free versions and not the pro versions so this is the one I selected and then it's super simple. You just resize it to what you want. I just extend it out to the corners and I made it a little lighter. And then the other thing that I added still here in elements, I added, um, I think it's some kind of abstract vector noise is why they call it, what they call it. I'm not sure why, but there's a little splashes in the back that you can see and if you can't see them when you put it on that means it may be in the back oh there they are and I don't want them black I want them white so this always is the color up here if there's an option for you to change the color it'll always be up here okay and then you upload whatever image you have any image that you have on your computer um, you can upload and I'm just going to upload my media and it's going to upload my elephant. It's on my computer. I have it on my desktop. And then when you click on it, it'll bring it into your canvas. Okay. So once it fully loaded, you'll see effects came into play. Um, and you can use this. And what I want to do is make it transparent. I don't want this white background. So you hit background remover and it will remove the background from the elephant. Okay, so there she is. I'm just going to make her bigger because, of course, I want her as big as possible. I'm going to add some text. And then you go to the left. I like using this one, and I think this is Play Script. Uh, Playlist Script, I think, is the name of this font. Just delete whatever words are in there already. And then just type your message. My message was, you are... And then it has this little bottom part here. Just delete that. We don't need that. So this is what I want. And I want it in white. So again, you come up to the color. Make it in white. And I don't need it this big. So just. And then bring it to probably half of that. So we can just, let's just half that for it. Let's just, just do 43. Take out 40 and see what happens. Okay. So you see how it looks like it's really like jumbled together and we're just going to highlight that and you go up here this little spacing and then the line height you can make it bigger so that it splits it out 
there we go and then just take it and move it over to wherever you want the one thing for sublimation that you do need is to reverse it but you can't reverse text here in um, in Canva or yet I have not found a way to do it so if anybody knows please put that in the comments I would appreciate it see if I click on the image I can flip it and reverse it but the text itself I have not been able to do that so I go ahead and I download it as a PNG and just download it onto my computer and once it's downloaded I go ahead and just double click on the file it's down here at the bottom I open it just so that I can see everything is fine perfect then I come to these little three dots on the side and I'm using a Windows PC not a Mac so there's different ways of doing it and then I want to open it with and I pick um, paint and all I have to do here is going to rotate at the top and just flip it flip horizontal and there's my image it is now mirrored so when I go ahead and send it to my printer it's going to print in reverse and I have the ET the Epson Echo Tank 2760 and you just send it to print and that is it just make sure you put sublimation paper in there and then once you print it you go ahead and you iron it on the canvas so let's go ahead and print it and do that so I use my mat my heat resistant mat and I use a piece of parchment paper that I'm going to put on top of my surface and I'm going to put this print on a little eight by eight canvas and this is a packet that I got from five below it comes in a four pack of eight by eight um, panel canvas and I just make sure that this is centered and where I want it to be good thing is I can see color on that side so we can do that I can just go to the edge and once I place it down I am not moving this I'm going to do a 360, which is the max of the original Easy Press. I'm going to do it for 60 seconds, and I am going to put um, parchment on top. And that's it. Let's go. I want to make sure this is right over it. Wait, what is that? I saw smoke, so I stopped. <laughs> Panicked. Oh, I just want to do like a corner. But once I move it, I move it. All right. It's not as bright as I wanted it to be. And there's still some ink. But a lot of it came off. This is probably not the best um, surface to do it on. But I'm not hating it. It transferred over. I think it's adorable. So there you have it. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future notifications. Have a great day.